in this problem we have to find the sum of digits of a given number and uh, we have to continue till we reach to a single digit that is between 1 and 9 and sum of digits cannot be 0 for a number other than 0 since we have some positive values in there for example 283 then if we add these it becomes 8 plus 3 is 11 plus 2 13 still two digits again add them 3 plus 1 4 now it's in single digit so if you keep adding it it will remain 4 there will not be any change so only for number is 0 the sum will be 0 so here uh, we will not be concerned with the trivial way that is you take one digit at a time keep adding them if that digit is still more than 9 again take their digits add them until they come in 1 to 9 range or if the number is 0 we return 0 straight away so here the main uh, concern will be to do it in O of one time without any for loop without any iteration over the digits of these numbers and also no space no uh, space other than O of one that is constant space so both time and space constant so uh, I hope you all can do this trivial uh, solution that uh, take the first digit for first digit you will take modulo 10 so that will give you 3 you add it to a running sum and uh, in that sum you add this 3 then uh, divide this by 10 so it becomes 28 so 3 you have added then it's 28 then next you will pick 8 and again divide by 10 so it will become 2 I again take modulo 10 so you will get 2 again divide uh, by 10 you will get 0 so if you add these you will get the sum of digits again it will be more than 9 so you will again continue this so this is the trivial way so let's see how we can do it in one sort so for that first let's see a pattern here so obviously if the number is 9 we will return 0 we will not be concerned about that case so for 1 sum of digits is 1 2 it's 2 then we have 3 it's 3 4 4 5 5 6 6 7 7 8 8 9 9 till here it's fine it's a single digit for 10 it again becomes 1 11 2 12 3 13 4 14 it becomes 5 15 it becomes 6 16 it's 7 17 it's 8 18 it's 9 and then 19 again it's 9 plus 1 is 10 so and 10 is 1 20 it will be 2 so it will keep on repeating so this I just wanted to uh, keep in mind the pattern this will not be used in our proof which we will do it mathematically but it's just good to keep in mind that uh, these numbers are repeating from 1 to 9 in sequence in order the order is not disturbed so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so straight away based on this example also you can figure out that if the number is very large if I decrement by 9 the sum of digits does not change for example for 21 it's 3 okay if we decrement it by 9 we get 12 12 again sum is 3 again decrement by 9 it's 3 again sum is 3 so uh, decrementing by any multiple of 9 obviously uh, it should not go in the negative so until you come in this range 1 to 9 keep decrementing some multiple of 9 until you come in this range then that will be the answer but we will do it uh, not with the help of example but with mathematical proof so first of all if we have any k digits number so it will have some digits dk minus 1 dk minus 2 this uh, subscript denotes uh, which digit it is and finally we will have d2 d1 d0 so we are starting with 0 since we break the number like this so let's say we have 123 so we write it as 100 plus 20 plus 3 so what we are doing with this digit we are multiplying 10 raised to the power 0 with the second digit we are multiplying 10 raised to the power 1 which is 20 10 raised to the power 0 is 1 so it remains 3 and with this is 1 so let's make it more generic 4 so 400 so 4 multiplied by 100 that is 10 square so powers of 10 are increasing in this direction from 0 onwards so this you can think of it as power of 10 so this is our number n so this is the original number given to us so we can break it as uh, dk minus 1 multiplied by 10 raised to the power k minus 1 this is the this one 
and dk minus 2 plus 10 raised to the power k minus 2 and it will go all the way up to uh, d2 n square plus d1 times 10 plus d0 times 10 raised to the power 0 or you can ignore that so this is the number any number you will write like this now let's see uh, any power of 10 can be written as some power of 9 plus some other number plus 1 in fact so let's see how so let's say we have 9 plus 1 cube so we are writing 10 cube or let's make it more generic let's write 10 raised to the power uh, p so 10 can be written as 9 plus 1 so it's same as 9 plus 1 raised to the power p now expand this so it's c p choose 0 9 raised to the power p 1 raised to the power 0 so you can ignore that plus uh, p choose 1 9 p minus 1 and it will be 1 times 1 raised to the power 1 c p 2 9 p minus 2 and 1 square so i am ignoring 1 since any power of 1 will be 1 and multiplying that with any number will not change the value and it will continue till c p p minus 1 and we are subtracting this thing whatever is in the bottom so it will be 9 raised to the power 1 and 1 raised to the power uh, p minus 1 but here since it's 1 it's valid for any x plus y raised to the power p this formula this is binomial uh, expansion so here it's 1 so the second term i am ignoring since it's always 1 multiplying 1 does not change and finally c p p and 9 raised to the power 0 so this term c p 0 is 1 so it remains 9 raised to the power p this is uh, p times or you can think of it as a constant so some constant times 9 raised to the power p minus 1 all the way up to uh, this term this term is also constant some other constant times uh, 9 raised to the power 1 plus this is 1 9 raised to the power 0 is 1 cpp is 1 so in all of these numbers we have some power of 9 so this is some multiple of 9 you can write it as 9 uh, 9 q this is some constant plus 1 so any uh, power of 10 can be written as some constant times let's write it c 9 c plus 1 so 10 raised to the power p is 9 c plus 1 now this is our original number we, we want to use this fact that 10 raised to the power any power is some constant times 9 plus 1 so let's rewrite this again number n so number n was this will become some constant times so dk minus 1 uh, 9c1 plus 1 similarly dk minus 2 9c2 this is another constant plus 1 all the way up to d0 times uh, 9c k plus 1 so this will be 9 c1 dk1 plus dk1 so every digit is multiplied by 1 also there are two terms so when you expand this it will break into two terms this multiplied by first plus this multiplied by second and the second is 1 always so these will accumulate so let's write them separately this dk minus 1 plus this multiplied by 1 is dk minus 2 plus this multiplied by 1 is d0 so we have written this term separately since these are the digits actual digits that are appearing in the number n so this denotes sum of digits plus now add the first terms together so dk minus 1 multiplied by 9c1 similarly dk minus 1 multiplied by 9c2 and similarly all the way up to d0 9 c k so all of them has 9 and different constants so 9 you can take as common and dk minus 1 plus c1 some another constant let's write in sort c1 prime c2 prime all the way up to ck prime 
so this is another constant so let's write them as c prime so what we we have achieved here n is the first term is sum of digits so let me denote that with this symbol this denotes sum of digits plus this is some constant times 9 so 9 c you can write so any number can be written as its sum of digits plus 9 but this may not be in the single digit range that is it may it may be larger than uh, one digit for example in this case it's 13 so we again take it sum so this 13 can also be written as sum of digits plus some constant times on uh, 9 for example its uh, sum of digits is 4 plus 9 times 0 and this is uh, sum of digits is 13 so 13 plus 270 270 is 30 times 9 So you see, it's valid, and in fact, we have done mathematical derivation, so it has to be valid. So if this is more than nine, uh, that is, it is not single digit. This is also a number, so it can further be written like sum of its digit. Its digit will be less than n, or it can be equal in some cases. So sum of its digit plus some other constant times nine, and this is the outer constant. and if this is still not single digit we can further break it into sum of d double prime sum of the digits of this term until it reaches single digit plus 9c double prime plus 9c prime plus 9c so all of these are multiples of 9 so these are also constant and this we stop when we reach single digit so this is now in the range 1 to 9 and this is some constant times 9 so again i am writing it as c or uh, this is some other c let's call it c prime so any number can be written as its sum of digits in the range 1 to 9 so this is sum of digits which we want in the problem that is single digit sum of this is single digit sum of numbers plus some constant times 9 any number so uh, what we can say uh, if n is a multiple of 9 so uh, just a brief reminder that we are not taking the case when n is 0 so when n is 0 sum of digits is 0 we are straight away return so we are talking about n greater than 0 now let's see one interesting thing here that this is some multiple of 9 so if n is some multiple of 9 for example 27 and this is some multiple of 9 so this term also must be some multiple of 9 because if you add a non multiple of 9 it will the entire thing will not be a multiple of 9 so we have another base case first base case was if n is equal to 0 return 0 second we will eliminate this case if n modulo 9 is 0 that is it is a multiple of 9 then this term also must be a multiple of 9 and uh, this is in the range 1 to 9 so which of these is a multiple of 9 9 only so if n is a multiple of 9 sd is a multiple of 9 and it's in the range 1 to 9 so only possibility is 9 so if n modulo 9 is 0 return 9 this is the thing we are finding in our problem so another base case if these are not the two cases that is n is not 0 and n is also not multiple of 9 so that will reduce reduce further to 1 to 8 this cannot be 9 now since we have already taken care of that in the base case now let's see n is sd single digit sum plus some multiple of 9 and this is in what range 1 to 8 so if we take modulo 9 on both side it becomes we have taken modulo 9 this side so this side if we take modulo 9 this should also be same as this so sd modulo 9 plus 9c modulo 9 what is sd modulo 9 this is already in the range 1 to 8 so modulo 9 will not change anything so this is sd and what is this term 9c modulo 9 is 0 so sd is same as n modulo 9 
so uh, what are all the scenarios let's write them together so sd is single digit sum which we want to calculate so if n is 0 sd is 0 if n is some constant times 9 sd is 9 else sd is n modulo 9 so we have taken care of everything so these are the three cases which we can write in the code and this will be done in constant time and it will not require any extra space so what was the first base case it was if num is equal to 0 and then return 0 if num modulo 9 is equal to 0 then return 9 and finally if none of these cases are there then return num modulo 9 and let's see if it if it works and expected is here 11 2 so this is fine let's submit and the solution is accepted let's do it in java no change required accepted let's do it in python 3 no change required but only colons to be added here after if and python solution is also accepted hope you enjoyed this uh, mathematical problem